So the transformation we did here has given us these three ordinary differential equations which are supposed to solve. So the first thing to do is to solve our characteristic equations. So let's take the first characteristic equation. We have dx dt is equal to 1 and we have x of 0 is equal to x. So solving this, you are going to get the x to be equal to the t, which will give us x will be equal to t plus a certain arbitrary constant c. So when you put in our initial conditions, we are going to get 0 will be equal to, sorry, it is x. So we are going to get s will be equal to 0 plus c. So that means our c is equal to the s. So that means we have x will be equal to t plus s and s will be equal to x minus t right and also when you solve the second characteristic equation it was given by dy dt is equal to 1 initial condition was u of 0 y of 0 is equal to 0 so this gives us dy will be equal to dt when you solve this we get y is equal to t plus c when you put in initial condition you have 0 will be equal to 0 plus c so that means our c is 0 so it means that our y is equal to t so you realize that our x is equal to x minus t but now t is equal to what y so that means you have our x will be equal to x minus y so this our x equal to x minus t can also be written as s equal to x minus t so please take note of these equations that we've gotten from solving our two characteristic equations okay so we then move to this first other um, od that we had was equal to y so here we do a transformation we transform from x and y to s and t so you realize that y here in terms of t is what t so that means we are not going to have y we are going to write t because now we are doing u now becomes a function of x and t all right so now we have this first order od to solve so you remember in our course in differential equation one that when you have an od of this form we solve it using the method of integrating factors so the first thing to do is to find our integrating factor so let's just look for our integrating factor. No, they are using a method of integrating factors. So our integrating factor u of t is given by the formula e in the integral of c dt. So you realize that you are going to have u of t will be equal to e in the integral of bar c is negative 3. So negative 3 dt. And it's going to give us u of t will be equal to e minus 3t. So this becomes our integrating factor. I'm solving an OD of this form. After getting our integrating factor, the next thing we do is that we multiply true by the integrating factor. So when you multiply true by the integrating factor, you are going to get d dt, then u e minus 3t will be equal to e minus 3t times rt here so when you get this the next thing to do is to find for our u so to find for our u then that means you're going to get d u e minus 3t equal to t e minus 3t dt so since you're finding for you the next thing to do is to integrate both sides so when you integrate both sides you're going to get u e minus 3t will be equal to the integral of t e minus 3t dt but remember that first to do this integration, we have to use the method of um, integration by parts. So I'll be using the table. You can use the main formula so you get the same thing. We have e minus 3 here. So when we differentiate t, we get 1. When we differentiate 1, we get 0. Then we end. When we integrate this, we are going to get minus 1 over 3 e minus 3t. When we also integrate this function, we are going to get 1 over 9 then e minus 3t so this time this and this time this so that means this integral is going to give us minus t over 3 e minus 3t 
then minus 1 over 9, e minus 3t, plus a certain constant, since what we did was an indefinite integral. So the constant will be a function of s, since u is a function of x and t, and we integrated with respect to t, so the function will be a function of x. So that means that when we put it inside our equation, when you put it inside this equation here, this equation here, then we are going to end up with u e minus 3t will be equal to minus t over 3 e minus 3t minus 1 over 9 e minus 3t plus c of s. Alright, then we are looking for u, so we divide u by e minus 3t. So we get u of xt will be equal to, you know, this will cancel this. So we just have minus t over 3 minus 1 over 9. Since this and this will cancel out, then we get plus e raised to the power 3t cs. 3t because it will come in divide. So when you send it up, the negative becomes positive. So we get something like this. So this becomes the general solution. But remember that this is in x and t but our original coordinate was in x and y so we are supposed to change it back to s and y but remember that when we solve our two characteristic equation our y was equal to t and our s was equal to x minus y i hope you remember this i told you to take a note of them when you go up you find them so it means that when we make the substitution we are going to get u of x y be equal to minus t over 3 minus 1 over 9. No, sorry. So the t is supposed to be y because y is equal to t. Then plus e minus no, e3y then times c of x minus y because s is s minus y. So we are going to get something like this. All right. So our initial condition was u of x0 was equal to x squared. So when we put it inside, then that means you are going to get u of x0 will be equal to wherever you find y, you put 0 here. So this part goes away. Then you'll be left with minus 1 over 9 plus. Then when you put 0 here, this part becomes 1. So plus c of s. So that means when you make and this is equal to x squared. So when you make c of x a subject, you're going to make get c of x to be equal to x squared plus 1 over 9. Right? So when we put in this into the original equation or the general solution, that means you're going to get u of xy to be equal to negative y over 3 minus 1 over 9 plus e 3y all times x minus y squared plus 1 over 9. The reason why you write x minus y and not x is because remember c is a function of x minus y so if you find x here we just place what x minus y there so this becomes our particular solution and the final answer to the question we had so this is a concept we use to solve um the first order pd of this form so this is the full form the general case using the method of characteristics once again i'm going to thank you for your attention